Welcome to the first of a series of short videos where I want to take you through the uh, crossfire rules and show you how they work and why they're so good. Crossfire is a set of World War II company level rules written by Artie Conliffe in the late 90s. Crossfire is unique in having no set turns, no range measuring and no fixed move distances. I'll explore these concepts and explain how and why they work in later videos when we cover moving and shooting. But for now, um, I'm just going to concern myself with uh, organising your forces for Crossfire and showing you what you need to get started. Crossfire is not a skirmish game. One figure does not equal one man. The standard manoeuvre unit in Crossfire is a squad. And here I've got three British soldiers uh, mounted on a base and they represent a squad. You can use any scale of miniatures with Crossfire. Um, that's one of its strong points. But I game in 28mm, so I'm using 28mm figures. You also don't have to base your figures um, in groups like this, but if you use individual figures, it does make the game quite a bit longer. For now though, I will use these as my examples and we'll take it from here. So this is a single squad. If you have three squads, you have a platoon, and with a platoon, you get a platoon commander. The platoon commander doesn't shoot or fight in Crossfire. He's merely there to um, coordinate your shooting, and he may, depending on his quality, give a bonus to rallying and close combat. Three platoons gives you a company, and with a company, you get your company commander, who also doesn't shoot but can fight in close combat, and you get the company support weapons. You get a medium machine gun, and you get a mortar. The mortar comes with a Ford observ observation officer. Mortars are very rarely deployed on the table and it's probably not necessary if you just want to get started in a hurry to actually paint one. All you need is the um, FOO. So let's take those off for the moment. I like mortars so I paint them. Um, and that is what you need for a starting army of British soldiers in Crossfire. That's a total of 36 figures. And here's the corresponding German company. German company has two machine guns, so you need 39 miniatures to put one of these on the table. Obviously, you can add to these basic forces, depending on the scenario, uh, or what sort of army you want to run. But for now, I'm going to stick with these as a basic starting point. And in the next uh, video, I'll look at shooting 